Folks, last week, officers with the Los Angeles Police Department co conducted a raid on the home of attorney Dermot Gibbons. He is the attorney for Black Lives Matter movement activist uh, Melina Abdullah. She has filed, of course, a lawsuit against uh, the police department. She's suing them for a 2020 incident where she was forced out of her home at gunpoint after receiving a hoax call about a hostage situation. Now, during this search, uh, attorney Gibbons saw an officer photographing documents that were left on his kitchen table that were related to the lawsuit. Well, a judge has ordered the LAPD to get rid of the photographs of legal documents that officers allegedly took during the unannounced raid. Joining us right now uh, on Roller Martin Unfiltered is Melina Abdullah and attorney Dermot Gibbons. Glad to have both of you here. So attorney Gibbons, I want to st start with you. First of all, why was your home being searched? That's, that's the mystery we want to get to. Uh, they said it didn't have anything to do with me. They allegedly were searching for somebody who stole something, and they were tracking an Apple AirTag that they said was in my home. None of this. They didn't give me a copy of the warrant. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> they said they were searching for a person. Yes. And they, they, so they had the Apple AirTag of said person. No. <laughs> That's what I asked them. No, they didn't. Well, they, they can lie, but they told me when I asked, I, I asked the same questions you would ask. I didn't get an answer. So, okay. So did they have a search warrant? Yes. Did they give it to you? They gave me a couple pages of it, not the important part. <laughs> no, so the answer is no. I'm sorry, no. you're an attorney. I'm sure, I'm sure you've seen a search warrant before. Yeah. So yeah. what did they leave out? Uh, the declaration of what the police said to the judge as to why the judge would sign off on the warrant. That's the lie that we need to find out. What did they say? So that wasn't a part of what they handed you? No. <laughs> All right. So if they were allegedly looking for a person, did they, did they articulate to you why they were looking for that person? And they said that person stole something? Like what? I don't know. <laughs> but they showed me the picture of so, the person which I assume was in the warrant, but that's not in the part that they left with me. So I can't show that to you. So they showed you a picture of the person. Was it a man or a woman they was allegedly looking for? Uh, a young, young man. Okay. So um, if you're looking for a person, why are you photographing things? If you're looking for a person... I would think you are opening doors, going into rooms, looking under the bed for a grown person. I, I would assume so, too. Um, Melina, um, first of all, all of this sounds uh, very strange, extremely fishy, uh, especially the part of them photographing items on the table that, oh, just happened to be related to your lawsuit against the LAPD? Yes, it's beyond strange. It's beyond strange. I, I don't think it could possibly be coincidental that the attorney who's representing me in an LAPD case for them swatting me was essentially swatted himself, and the um, information that they collected included photos of my case file. I don't think that's a coincidence. I think that it's beyond uh, the realm of coincidence that it's it's unimaginable um, that it would be coincidental. And I think it shows how corrupt LAPD can be, that they swatted the attorney who is suing them on my behalf for swatting them, for swatting me. Um, it, it is, I mean, this is, 
kind of basic um, attorney givens. And they would do it to an attorney as if you're not smart enough to understand what's going on here. Um, you never underestimate the stupidity of the police. Let me just say that. Uh, I, as I sit here right now, I can surmise and speculate as to what happened. But as you said, pointed out, getting that declaration of what the police said to this judge, because I hope the judge wasn't that stupid, which can happen because they rubber stamp anything. But there has to be something in that declaration that's the big lie that connected me, my house, to whatever they were doing, which we don't know. And you lived in your house for 20 years, right? Over over 20 years. They and they know where I live. As that's no I I've, I've sued them <laughs> had major cases against them before. For the LAPD to say they don't know, it's like, you know, like uh Dr. Abdullah. They know where she lives. <laughs> You know, and, and to get a warrant... And, and then got, they sent... They sent a... Du right, right, right. First of all, explain to people how that works in order to obtain a warrant. Uh, a police officer has to write down a, in a declaration and articulate facts that he knows a crime has occurred and whatever the warrant is for, that this warrant will lead to evidence to solve that crime. Then they have to take that to a judge, which a judge then has to find probable cause that, yes, what this officer said is true and is probable cause that a crime has been committed and the person or place that they need to search is most probably involved in that crime. Then the judge signs off on a warrant. Then the police can then go execute the warrant. Obviously, what I'm as a friend by, of mine told me, I'm not involved. Otherwise, I would have been arrested. <laughs> my house right. wasn't involved. Otherwise, they it, would have taken evidence out of my house. The only thing what they I'm confused by out of is, my house were the pictures of Dr. Dr. Ardula's case. And so if, if you're looking for a person, why are you ransacking a house? Um, why are you literally emptying drawers, opening your safe, and going through your briefcase? What what was the person hiding in your briefcase? I I couldn't tell how large the person was. All they showed me was a picture. I don't know. <laughs> so so that's what we want so to ask a, a, a spokesman. So a spokesman for the um, um, for the police department. Uh, they gave a statement to the um, they gave a statement to uh, either the Associated Press or L.A. Times. Give me one second. Uh, oh, here it is. I love this. So this is an open criminal investigation as well as an internal affairs investigation, according to Captain Kelly Muniz, uh, spokesman for the LAPD. A, a, a criminal investigation? I, I have no clue. <laughs> I have no answers. For what's what, what, what's your what's your next step? Are, are you uh, can you do you have to file something? Can you can you demand? Can, I mean, clearly, if they search your house, they have to actually supply you with the actual search warrant. Uh, it's been uh, it's been what two or three days, and they still haven't done that. They have not given you the full search warrant. No. And that's what we did on Friday. We went to a judge. Right. To, and that's when the judge ordered them to give it back. So we'll give them a few days and then we'll, you know, hopefully they'll turn it over. And if not, I mean, w w would you have uh, to sue them to we, get it? We, no. No, they're under a court order right now to turn it over. Other than that, they'll be, gotcha. in, they so the will be in contempt of court with, with right. the court. And they can be sanctioned. So when you went to court on Friday, when you went to court on Friday and the judge ordered the documents to be destroyed, 
Um, first of all, did the judge give a process to do so other than, hey, scouts honor, we destroyed them? No, and, and you're, you're missing. They're supposed to turn it over or uh, destroy it and also give me a copy so I can see what, what, they, what the photos were. So not just destroy it, but uh, it. also give me a, a, a copy of it. Um, the judge, because this is so basic, the judge didn't have to say, go to the police officer who took the pictures and get the, get the camera and get the copies of the. I mean, it's that basic. But what the city attorney is going to do, obviously, there's going to be a lot of cover up in this internal affairs investigation or whatever. And they're going to stonewall or whatever. But eventually we'll get it. Uh, Melina, uh, and if I mean, we don't, it, it, it that's going to say more yeah. for, for Dr. Melina's case <laughs> if they don't give it to us. Right. And, and I, mean, I, I was about to make. Um, m M M M Melina, it's clear the LAPD, first of all, a dozen cops roll up on your attorney's home. Oh, there's a GPS tracker, and we're looking for a Tyler. <laughs> I mean, come on. Right. And, and for them to photograph my case file, right, the damage is done, in my view. If they photographed the case file, they've read the case file. That information, they already have the information in the lawsuit against them. It's already tainted. I don't really know how we can um, make this right. We know the history of policing in LA County. We know that LA County sheriffs refused to destroy photos after the Kobe Bryant um, helicopter crash, right? That this is um, something that they do with regularity is take photos of things that they shouldn't have and then keep them. So I'm sure that they're going to be using it um, in their side of the case. And I don't know what we could do. How do you prove that something doesn't exist? Wow. But also in that... Uh, incredible. Well, Roland, let me, let me say this. Dr. Molina's case is so cut and dry and so strong that... They can do whatever they want. We're going to get them. Thank you. I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> well, certainly keep us abreast uh, of what happens next. Uh, this is uh, certainly uh, unbelievable. Uh, has and, and, I, and I take it, obviously, uh, y'all have uh, reached out to uh, the police chief uh, and the mayor uh, demanding answers uh, to all of this, correct? I, well, me personally, no, because I wouldn't believe a word they would say to me. Because before they did this investigation, they should have reached out to me and said, hey, Mr. Gibbons, something's in your house. Can we come? You know, but the communication right now is going to be through the court. The mayor's been informed, all but right, we also are in a situation where the police chief is retiring at the end of the month. So it's very convenient timing for accountability, right? There is, there's no, no accountability. The is on his way out anyway. All right, then. Uh, Dermot, Melina, uh, we appreciate y'all joining us. Keep us abreast of what happens next. Thank we'll you. We'll get that warrant. <laughs> okay, have a good day. <laughs> Absolutely.